All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me an amazing SUV, one of the most luxurious, in my opinion, Japanese SUV. And I think this is the top of the top from what you can buy from Toyota. Uh, because as you probably know, Lexus is the premium brand from Toyota. And this is, as I can explain you a little bit better, this is like 20 to 30% better than what Toyota can offer. This is my opinion after I drive the car, after I review the car and after I know what Lexus brand is. And if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland guys, check out Emil Frey uh, Auto Center in Bern and you can come here at Lexus Center and you can see the car, test drive the car uh, or buy the car. I will leave the link in the description of the video if you want to find out more details. In this video it's all about driving guys. We will drive the car and I will give you my feedback. This is the key super nice premium uh, quite heavy key with lexus here i really like the key it looks premium like the car uh, also we have 21 inch rims beautiful rims premium rims normal brake this on the rear ventilated brake this on the front i like the brake calipers with lexus brand on it we have four pistons in the front lovely car in general let me go inside because it's super cold i like also those handles that they didn't move if you want to unlock the car you have a button behind the handles just press the button and then you unlock the car just simple as that also from the interior you press this button and you unlock the uh, the door now you have the f sport here uh, on the plate because this is the f sport model aluminum pedals lovely pedals gorgeous seats we have leather seats electric adjustable seats i really like the seats the side support we have alcantara here in the middle alcantara here on the side side support incredible incredible seats uh f sport logo here on the seats but more about that i want to go inside oh man it's so cold outside uh i i will explain you everything about material quality storage um multimedia system everything in the review video i will have a review video on my channel i will do it after those test drives uh, if you want to see that video click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out if it's not already on the channel electric adjustable seats with free saving position also you have a mirror actually let me start the car press the brake here is the start engine button it needs a little bit of time and then you see a nice graphic here with lexus brand i think this is kind of my favorite lexus car to be to be honest i will tell you from the beginning it's an amazing car i will definitely buy this one if i will have to choose uh, an lexus it comes with almost full option we have also these mark levinson speakers amazing speakers but more about that in the other video the car comes also with a normal mirror or you can transform it in a camera because it has a camera in the in the back and you can see in the back right there lovely camera incredible big screen 14 inch screen and what i notice it's incredible responsive heated seat ventilated seat heated steering wheel incredible features on the car now guys let me give some information about the car here in switzerland at emil frey in bern the price of the car without the option the f sport model it's 106,000. 900 francs if you add optional the panoramic glass roof uh, 2350 and those leather kind of carpets there you have to pay 100 extra so the price will be 109,350 francs i will add the price in dollar all these head-up display and other future are integrated here let me talk a little bit about the more important things because it's a full hybrid car the car come with an electric motor integrated in transmission and another electric motor on the rear that drive the rear it's a four control that means it's four wheel drive and the maximum power it's 371 horsepower around 550 newton meters uh, also very important to point out the consumption around 8.1 liter 184 co2 grams 2265 kilograms it's an e-class efficient class i don't know why because uh, when i drive the car a little bit earlier most of the time the car drive in electric mode and that's quite much to be honest uh, but let me show you something you have here like driving modes you have free 
driving modes plus custom you have eco mode normal mode sport mode every time you change the driven driving mode you change also this cockpit there uh, we will drive in eco mode you can go even in custom and you can customize how you like to have the powertrain suspensions and all that stuff but let me go to eco first of all we drive in eco mode also we will reset uh, the trip here so we will see the consumption in the end so clear data i like very much the controllers here on the steering wheel and the head-up display it's gorgeous or so everything you can access and activate it from here from the steering wheel the lane assist the, the cruise control and the car come with all that safety features that also toyota uh, have it anyway the shift by wire kind of a shift by wire transmission here this stock it's really small it's like a finger and you can change the gears from here very simple you have electronic handbrake auto hold uh, traction control and also this is kind of off-road mode and if you want to change the gears you go left and forward you go in reverse it comes with kind of 360 degrees camera very good resolution uh it you can see it really really clear there are six sensors in the front six on the rear if you want to go left and then back you're in drive and right now we are in drive let's drive guys let's drive the car because we talk too much I, I will talk a little bit more in the full review video and less in this one in this one i want to talk a bit about performance the top speed of the car 209 km per hour it's limited there 5.6 seconds 0 to 100 it's pretty powerful and first impression when i drive the car i really drive it a little bit earlier is that it's crazy smooth it's crazy silent the seats are incredible incredible comfortable pedals are very smooth so also suspension we have independent mcpherson suspension in the front end multi-link independent suspension on the rear and they are really really good the suspension i was like first time i was like checking this car should have air suspensions i was thinking it has air suspension because the suspension was so good over the bumps but but no doesn't have air suspensions it's crazy over the bumps and as if i can characterize this car better i should say that it's like 20 to 30 percent better than toyota cars it's kind of the same but better you know what i mean um this is how i can talk about this car and to be honest guys this is a full hybrid system i think this is the best full hybrid system that i try it's crazy responsive i mean when you when you stay at a stop sign like here and then you accelerate or you press the acceleration it's crazy responsive the the, the transition between electric and petrol engine they are crazy fast it, you can feel that this is this is really premium you can feel the quality i didn't expect to be that good but i i I didn't drive on Lexus for a long time, at least in hybrid, but now that I drive it, I, I really, really start to understand and to see how good they are. And also, it stays incredible good on the road. It's crazy comfortable. Now we are in eco mode, but it's crazy. The, the steering, the way it feels with the road, with the, with the rims, it's very good big big mirrors great visibility we have the blind spot technology in the mirrors um, great visibility around the windows if you want to set the lane assist you just set it from here and you can set the speed for example you just go to 80 right now also the car will warn you because it has kind of a sensors here cameras like read your face and if you're not in the in the view of this area it will beeping and then warn you that uh, the driver face is not visible like right now and of course it's not visible because i stay a little bit lower the purpose why i stay lower is the camera guys um, is the camera you know 
you cannot see so well the cockpit and the head of display if I will stay higher uh, on the seat so that's why it's beeping me right now that it doesn't see my face it says sit up I don't see your face you know but right now this this is happening only when the the cruise control is and autopilot is activated and right now the car is driving itself it stays between the lanes perfectly I test that in another video before let me go left here I test that also in a previous video before and it was incredible I mean oh boy this autopilot from uh, Lexus this new uh, system with the cameras it's working just perfectly look at this it stays perfectly between the lanes let me go out I want to deactivate this because it's beeping me too much in my head guys when you brake the car will regenerate back the energy and I can show you the energy flow here you can see what happened with the energy with the, the motors with the battery there So it has two electric motors, one in transmission, one it's on the rear and a petrol engine and it's a full hybrid system that works incredible good. As I said, in my opinion, this is one of the best transmission, uh, the best hybrid, full hybrid system that I test ever. We can go also if you want in uh, like let's go here let's go back driver mode let's go in sport mode let's try an acceleration i love the sound the sound is gorgeous the sound of the engine it's it's gorgeous oh boy when you press the acceleration crazy responsive I really like it I really like how they did that the combination between um, electric motors and the petrol engine I think they, it's, it's quite quite uh, the best right now they work together to give you the maximum power in sport mode The pedals are so smooth when you brakes, press the brake you can see the car will regenerate back the energy in the battery or when you uh, left the car to roll the same story really really love those stuff you can change also the gears if you want to change it in, in manual mode you can you can play with those pedals behind the steering wheel so you can change the gears yourself if you press this plus a few seconds it go back to uh, automatic transmission so if you use you want to use it manually you can use it also manually but incredible I mean in terms of acceleration uh, when you are in sport mode the steering will be a little bit more stiffer and the suspension a little bit more stiffer uh, but still 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 uh, you will feel that crazy comfortable feeling because the car it's more created for comfort and not so much for sportiness so you will notice that even when you go over the bumps uh, or even when you take try to make some curves you will see how how good it is and how how comfortable is the car and over the bumps it's incredible here we have some potholes and it's it's crazy crazy good it almost feel like you're having air suspensions in terms of comfort over the bumps visibility it's perfect the the feeling when you drive this when you drive this car it's like you're driving a super premium car everything feels smooth everything feels great even the the stalks even the steering wheel um, it's heated right now and it's heated everywhere even up down around it a very good car and it feels quite rapid I mean it's a big SUV but it feels light feels really really light I like it I really like it now 
Another thing that impressed me on the car is the turning radius. You can see here a big curve and I stay so good on the seats. I didn't say anything about the seats, but I want to say a few things. Uh, they are perfect, at least for me, for my back. It hold me perfectly there. It's like when I take that curve before, I didn't even feel it's a curve because it hold me really good be be between the, the side supports. And here another big one. And look at this. I I don't even move. It's it's crazy good. The brakes, the pedal, the visibility, everything. It's I don't have any any words. Um, it's totally deserve the price. It's a big price for the car, but totally deserve it. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Wow, you hear that engine? Wow, boy, I love it. I love it. It's crazy silent inside the cabin, by the way. That's that's the Japanese that I know. That's Toyota. That's Toyota Plus, I should say. Toyota Plus 20%. Toyota Plus 30%. Anyway, something like that. Oh boy, I love the car. Really, I, 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 this system, this hybrid system beat a lot of systems out there. I feel after, I, after you drive this car, you feel like other car manufacturers that make full hybrid system, they kind of struggle to do it. I love the sound of the acceleration. Anyway, let's go back, guys. Let me activate the autopilot, and right now the car is driving for me. Uh, and then if we go back here to driving mode, let's go back to eco mode. Now the car will drive much more uh, relaxing. And energy flow, of course, the car come with this beautiful, beautiful uh, map in the middle. 14 inch screen crazy big screen everything it's easy easy to reach out come on shut up you see my face it doesn't see my face it, it's a sensor here and because of the camera i stay a little bit higher but look at this it stays between the lanes just perfectly i say i test before this um this autopilot and it's really really good it comes with a lot a lot of sensors safety feature right now it's driving itself again in echo mode lovely car head up display it's perfectly array right there on the screen it's perfectly directly on the on the windscreen lovely 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 colors and brightness it's it's just perfect crude visibility around the windows blind spot technology i like the the way they designed this windshield it's a little bit different rounder um, I like how easy it is to reach out everything here it's it's perfect and the driving position it's it's really really good um, I like the car very much let's go back on the middle lane come on shut up shut up now it sees my face and now activate again lane assist and it's working like a charm you drive at high speed guys by the way and you barely barely hear any noise from outside or from the engine and we drive 100 i feel like this car can drive 140 50 without too much noise coming inside the cabin also it's a beautiful car it's crazy comfortable we have heating seats here the seats are really good really comfy i feel like i can stay here forever and it's easy because you have those buttons here it's easy to to turn it on turn it off just like that it's, it's shut up i'm here look at this the car is doing everything for me i feel like this autopilot it's it's between the best after i test it i feel like i can really trust it and also it will warn you to hold your hand on the steering wheel also i recommend you to always have your hand on the steering wheel when you use autopilot i do that but for the purpose of the video i just uh, try to show you 
uh, that it works uh, automatically but really really good system also you have a button here that shows you the camera um, but it's not working while you're driving you have to drive at low speed in order to work I will show a little bit later also this navigation system it's much more responsive than, than uh, the one from Toyota but I will talk about that in the review video and in the review video shut up you will find out more infos and details about the car right now you release the acceleration the car will regenerate back the energy into the battery let me deactivate this and take the control and now nobody will bother us again um, crazy it's it's really good the car and I like the pedals they are so smooth it's like we have a huge car but it's so easy to drive it it comes with auto hold electronic handbrake Another thing that I want to show you, very important, I don't want to forget that, is the turning circle of the car. It's only 10.8 meters. It's really good for the size of the car, the turning circle, it's gorgeous. It's so smooth, you know, I... I so silent so premium and if you press the brake a little bit more you activate the auto hold from here and then the car will hold for you then you just press the acceleration and it will accelerate very good visibility also in this camera up here you have uh, great great visibility and also if you want to see the mirror uh, even in the mirror you have great visibility you have a very tall driving position so you have a gorgeous visibility from up here also it's a pretty safe car if I remember well it has like a five star at uh, safety A, it's a real pleasure to drive this car here are a few bumps perfect over the bumps it's doing really really good now let me go right and I will show you also the turning circle super easy to drive perfect visibility perfect comfort safety features really good great I don't know if I would change something on this car. I'm, I'm not sure if I would change something because I like it really much. A lot of good, good quality materials everywhere. The shifter, it's, it's small and it's easy to change the gears. You have everything easy here to, to reach out and change. Overall, it's, it's a super, super car. I can easily compare it with a Mercedes S-Class, you know, like a top. Here I want to show you if this guy let me. I don't want to bother these people around here, but I want to show you the turning circle. Let me see what you want to do. Okay, let me show you the turning circle. 10.8 meters for such a big SUV. I mean, it's really good. I, I drive cars, sedan cars or smaller cars that has more 
bigger turning circle than this one. I love the sound of the engine, really, I, I, I'm in love with it. I really like the way it sounds, really love it. Ah, it's a good car, really good car. That was our trip. I will park the car and I will show you also this 360 degrees camera that the car come with. Actually, I will show you here. So it's super easy. You just go left and forward and you are in reverse and it's activate this 360 degrees camera that looks perfect and it will map up the ground. You have six parking sensors on the rear, six in the front. You can park the car wherever a place you choose it's such a big car and I like that it's it's quite real I like how good it looks these cameras also you have a front camera there it's, it's crazy easy and then you just press the P and you are in park electronic handbrake everything it's perfect now guys I want to show you the consumption uh, let's go here to the map and then go to vehicle trip information and if I'm not wrong, 9.5 is our consumption. And if I stop the engine, actually turn off the car, you will see it. It will show us, yeah, 8, 9.8 liter consumption. In EV, we drive 37%. So super interesting. Yeah, that was our trip. That was our test drive with this uh, new Lexus RX 500H. I really like it. My rating for this car, even though it's 100,000 francs, I will rate it 9.9. .9. It's a really premium car. I really love it. And this F Sport version look awesome and it comes with some incredible features like those seats. I'm freaking in love with those seats. I really love them, the shape of it. The way I sit here, it's crazy comfortable and nice. I don't wanna go <laughs> in my car back. I really love it. Pedals are awesome. I want to show you also the pedals, but you can see them also in the review video. The steering wheel is great, the position of driving, it's, it's fabulous. Visibility is good. I really like the car, guys. This is top. I mean, Lexus is like top brand of Toyota, so you, you can understand better. Toyota cars are incredible good and they are very reliable. Think about Lexus, how it is. It's like 20, 30% better uh, than a Toyota. Incredible. I like it. I like it very much. Anyway, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out guys Emil Frey Auto Center in Bern. You can come here at Lexus. Also, if you want to see the full review, I will have a separate video on my channel with the same car. So click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out. There you can see all the technical data, material quality and more information. That was all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you find it useful, please like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. That would mean a lot for me. So thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos. I hope it was useful. Stay safe. And yeah, I guess I see you in the next one. Bye guys.